In this video, we will be analyzing this dashboard in order to understand this wireframe sketch. My name is Lee, and I am a member of the Data School 6 cohort at the Information Lab in New York. I will be showing you how to wireframe a Tableau dashboard. This will assist you in creating a well-organized dashboard. So let's jump right into it and get started. Wireframing acts as the foundational plan for your visualization, outlining the layout before diving into the intricate specifics of your Tableau dashboard. It empowers you to refine ideas, consider user interactions, and make informed decisions for a more effective and impactful dashboard. When creating a dashboard, you will see a pane labeled Objects. In this pane, there are two main containers, the horizontal container and the vertical container. These are the base and structure in your dashboard. Horizontal containers are used when you need to place objects beside one another. Vertical containers are used when placing objects on top of or below one another. I have color-coded and labeled containers according to the elements we will be using in our example. The program that we will be creating this layout in is called Excaladraw. You can go to the website I have in this text here so that you may follow along with the tutorial. The image I have here is the dashboard we will be creating the plan for. The dashboard was created as a Workout Wednesday on workout-wednesday.com. You can find my version of the Workout Wednesday on my Tableau Public. Now that we have our tools, let's begin creating the wireframe. We will work our way from the most outer container to the most inner elements. This is because it helps establish a clear hierarchy of visual elements, ensuring that the primary containers and sections are defined before addressing finer details. To conclude on a container, we will look at the container or element next in the hierarchy. Let's start on the main container, but to decide on the orientation, we must look at the elements next in the hierarchy. In most cases, we have the header, body, and footer containers within the main container. These containers will become more visually apparent as we progress in our example. The header, body, and footer containers are stacked vertically on top of one another in this example. Therefore, we will place the largest and most outer container as the vertical container. We will then follow with the header container. This may look like a horizontal container because the inner elements appear next to each other, but there is a blank element here to create this yellow line as a design choice. Therefore, this header will be a vertical container that contains that horizontal stack and blank element. The horizontal container then contains the logo and heading elements. Next is the body, a vertical container. The body contains two major containers. The KPIs are visibly outlined with the borders in the dashboard. This gives us a hint of a horizontal container. There are four KPIs as four elements. The body also contains a large horizontal element that stacks the consumer, corporate, and home office charts together. Each chart is made up of several elements that are stacked on top of each other. This means each has a vertical container. We will place these vertical containers next to each other and insert these chart elements. Finally is my footer. Now, although this container only contains one element, I will still place it in a vertical container with a single element inside. This is because utilizing a container ensures consistent alignment throughout the dashboard and allows for potential future additions or adjustments to the footer's container without disrupting the overall layout and design of the dashboard. After adding final elements to the dashboard, we now have a complete wireframe. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in wireframing for a Tableau dashboard. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you may find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love this related how-to video by my fellow data schooler. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Please subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.